Kobe the best. Hey guys, I am hanging out with Snake Man Albert Killian here, and uh, what are we looking at? What kind of cobra are we looking at, Albert? Oh, uh, you're looking at a Ethiopian cobra. And uh, what is the snake like? What's its behavior? Or what, 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 what are we going to see? Well, like most African cobras, they're fast and they're, uh, yeah, they're aggressive if they're provoked. But like most snakes, they just move around a lot and just want to get away. So are you ever scared when you're handling a cobra? I mean, do you ever like freak out and be like... No, no, my, my heart's steady. I don't, uh, I don't get elevated. Not at all? No, no, no. It depends on the level of risk, depending on the adrenaline. Uh, so no. like with this cobra, does, is this a rush Well, for as you, long as like... the behavior is predictable, the snake is actually manageable. It's when he starts doing unpredictable behavior that the situation becomes elevated. And uh, as far as this snake out in the wild, what, what type of uh, things does he eat and what, where does it fall in the ecosystem? Yeah, you know, most cobras are opportunist feeders, so they're going to feed anything from reptiles, birds, and mammals. Maybe so even insects. Pretty much anything they can get their hands on out there. Most, most likely their mouth. They don't have hands. <laughs> most likely their mouth. <laughs> true, 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 true. Wow. Oh, he came at you. Yeah. Don't let him get you. That's some dangerous stuff right there, Albert. Yeah. See, if that was a king, I'd probably be four feet behind the head. Doing it that way, that only puts you about a foot and a half. <laughs> Not even. So that's a lot more dangerous to work with than the king cobra? Smaller cobras are harder to work with than bigger cobras. The bigger they are, the easier they are. No matter how aggressive. <laughs> 